Rev up your engines! Power Cert animated video says, does Scotty do these live shows often? Yes, I do. As a matter of fact, I do them every Thursday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, Central Standard Time. I'm in Texas, Central America, same time zone as Chicago. And I do them Saturdays at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, where I answer your questions live on YouTube Live. Anybody in the world can watch. And realize you can just use your phone to ask me questions anywhere on the planet. You don't even need to be hooked up to a computer or anything. They make this stuff easy, and I'm here to help everybody else. So take advantage of it. Tell your friends about it. I used to actually answer every single question that people wrote me on the Internet. I've been doing this for, oh, on TV and then uh, here, and I've been doing it for like 28 years now. I can't answer everybody's questions individually at a time anymore. That's why I have these car talks twice a week, so I can help everybody out as much as possible. And the questions are often common. People have the same type of questions so I can answer like thousands of people's questions with one question. Max I says, should you bother fixing a 2011 Kia Forte because of noises or is it just going to clank and clamor anyway? It depends whether you have an actual physical problem with that vehicle. So what I always tell people is jack them up in the air, pull on the tires, see if there's play and clunk and things that are really worn that can be dangerous and not safe. But if you do that and there isn't really any play, but you get noise, a lot of times you live with it. When I was a kid, all cars had numerous grease fittings. When we changed the oil, we had grease guns, and we would grease all the grease fittings. Some of these cars had like 24 separate grease fittings. It was a job finding them all and greasing them. But for decades, they gave up with all that stuff, and now things are what they call lifetime greased. Yeah, well, when the grease wears out, then they creak and make noises. <laughs> So a lot of times it's stuff you'll live with and you won't care as long as things aren't physically worn and you see that the tires aren't wearing oddly with cupped wear or anything. On that thing, if you don't find anything when you jack it up, heck, you're probably better off just living with it. Curtis Sims says, Scotty, how is Honda still in business by designing interference motors back in the day while Toyota was making non-interference? Interference engines are where the pistons go real high inside the engine and the valves come down real low. If especially have a timing belt in them, if that belt breaks, then the engine's spinning, say on a highway going 3,500 RPMs, then the pistons are going to hit the valves, bend them, and maybe crack the head, and it's kind of goodbye engine. It's a racing design to get more power. Well, Toyota didn't make too many engines like that in the past. Now, they didn't get that much into the extra power. They wanted reliability. It worked in their favor because they sold a lot more cars than Honda did. Now, modern cars, though, they're almost all timing chain. They went back to a chain, not a rubber belt. Even a lot of the Toyota engines now are interference engines, but you got a metal timing chain in there, and you don't really care, because Toyotas are so well made, if you change the oil often, those chains last so long that you don't really care that it's an interference engine. Now, when they were all timing belts, yes, I would not want a timing belt engine that had an interference engine, but with these modern chains, eh, it doesn't really matter because they last so long. Unless you get a crappy car that the chains break, and then you get problems like uh, some of the Nissans did and have problems with the chains. I would not buy a Nissan for that reason. That when they break an interference engine, goodbye engine. Hot Amon de Fare. I think Fiat's are more reliable because you can reliably count on them showing up in the mechanic shop frequently. Well, that's a very good point. When I was a young mechanic, Fiat's were known in the mechanics world that I lived in as Fix It Again, Tony, because you were always fixing it again. And Tony being a common Italian name, people said that. They, they were really the first cars to have extremely horrendous complex electronics. When other cars just had a few fuses, well, Fiat and the Italians, they want to put relays everywhere. And you were always buying relays because relays are a safety device. But unfortunately, the Italians didn't make them very well. So the relays kept breaking all the time. They were terrible cars. And today, they still are relatively terrible cars. They're even talking about pulling out of the United States. They own Chrysler. And of course, they put a lot of their technology into Chrysler cars. But they also do sell some Fiat cars. And they aren't selling worth beans. So <laughs> that's a very good point. J.D. Chapman says, Scotty, should I drop a big block in my 90s? 94 Jaguar. Well, that's an interesting question. I know guys have done that over the years. If you like the Jaguar and you want to have it as a toy, go right ahead and drop a big block in it. Now, there's modifications you have to do, but guys have kits. Now, realize then it's no longer a collector's item, but really most 94 Jags aren't collector items anyways. They really aren't worth anything. Like, you wouldn't want to take a classic XKE Jag and stuff and put one in because then it gets rid of the value because it's no longer 
a stock Jaguar anymore. But I mean, let's face it, a 94 Jag, it's not worth that much anyways. And if you want to fiddle around and have fun with it, ah, realize you're not going to be able to do it and then sell it for a lot of money later because then it lowers the value of the car if it was a collector's. But since it isn't, ah, why not have some fun with it if you want? A lot of guys have done it. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.